One of the many great use cases where Swimlane can improve your security operations and eliminate most of the tedious manual tasks is SIM Alert Triage. Swimlane can be set up to receive events from your SIM tool, whether it is Elastic, Splunk, Logarithm, Azure Sentinel, QRadar, or any other SIM. The process typically starts with a playbook connecting Swimlane with your SIM events and logs of interest. The playbook is typically triggered on a scheduled interval like this cron trigger pulling in data from Elastic. The events and log data could also be pushed into Swimlane by your SIM using a webhook. For any one-off scenarios where an analyst needs to force a playbook run, a button is another easy way that can trigger a SIM ingestion run. The SIM ingestion playbook could be that simple, or it could also have other actions included. That could be actions like filtering for specific records or even individual portions of the data, sending data to other playbooks, writing data to a record, or many other options. When data from the SIM meets your criteria, you have the option of Swimlane executing the required actions with or without analyst intervention. Let's start with an example of partial automation where Swimlane does the initial triage steps and puts the record in an analyst queue for final determination. As we look at the analyst open case queue on this dashboard, we see a new event that needs our attention. By clicking on the event and looking at the details, one of the first things that is obvious is that Swimlane has already done most of the investigation for this SIM event. This Sentinel event appears to be a brute force attempt from an external IP address. Each event has one or more observable indicators that Swimlane can automatically enrich. For this event, there is a single IP address observable. Any other data Swimlane parsed out of the Sentinel event or recorded as the automation was executed has been placed in the various fields of this record. This use case design is very easy to view and provides a concise layout with all the data at our fingertips. On the left, we have a meta widget with the bullet points for this event. Swimlane has determined through the initial triage that the event is likely a true positive high-risk malicious event. In the case summary section, there is SLA progress as well as the who, what, when, where that was noted. In the right-hand column, we can communicate both inside and outside of Swimlane instantly to discuss and handle this event. For users that need a reminder of what to do next, this design also provides a handy checklist. The checklist also timestamps the progress to track time and help indicate where performance improvements are needed. Speaking of following the steps, let's take on the role of analyst, claim this case, and start reviewing the source data. Since this is a SIM event, this section contains the SIM event data. This application design can also be used for EDR, phishing, and other types of event triage, and Swimlane will dynamically adjust this section and fields based on the event type. The design of this example includes a few of the pertinent Sentinel data fields here, but not all possible fields. Like most things in Swimlane, this is fully customizable and could feature more or less fields and any design or layout desired. Each section in this layout can be easily collapsed or expanded, making this design an easy way to have all the data front and center. If the event matched our correlation settings for any other records in the application, Swimlane would have linked those correlated records here. Correlating cases is a powerful way to consolidate your efforts and eliminate the need to work duplicate or similar events separately. Your choices for the correlation settings determine how correlated records will be identified and linked. An analyst working an event like this would need to quickly assess whether the event is indeed malicious and determine what additional action should be taken if necessary. Swimlane has already executed the initial actions and shaved precious minutes off the research and documentation steps that are such a tedious part of any alert triage. We can see the research that was done and the overall malicious result. All the observables parsed from the event are sent through playbooks for automated threat intelligence results. This event only had one observable. 
If there were additional observables in the event, each one would have its own record, like you see in this example from another record. If the analyst needs to view the work done by Swimlane to reach this malicious verdict, they can look at each of the observable records by opening the link. Any number of threat intelligence tools can be used to power the results, and different tools can be used for each different type of observable. In this setup, we used Recorded Future, Virus Total, and URL House for automated threat intel when the observable is an IPv4 address. The results Swimlane got from Recorded Future indicate that this IP is suspicious, but not quite to the threshold we set for malicious. The results Swimlane got from Virus Total, on the other hand, definitely met the threshold we set for Virus Total results to be considered malicious. Each of these tabs provide additional data for the analyst to use as they quickly evaluate this event. We can see that URL House did not have any info for this observable. Swimlane took the highest result of malicious from the virus total result and recorded that as the highest verdict and fed that back to the SIM event record. Once the analyst has reviewed the threat intelligence information automatically provided by Swimlane, they can use the knowledge base to see if there are any existing best practices to guide them with this event should they need help. Swimlink can be configured to automatically identify and link relevant docs here, or the analyst can review and link existing content and even create new content. One of the main goals of partial automation in Swimlane is to enable the analyst to quickly and easily make a determination and take action. Since Swimlane has provided everything needed to determine that this is a true positive malicious event, the analyst can jump right to the remediation section and execute responses. The response actions available will be determined by your environment and your tools. For this event, one of the first actions that would likely be executed would be to block the offending IP address now that we know that it is not one we use and can be blocked. Rather than open multiple new tabs, Log into a firewall block list, an EDR block list, and maybe even a proxy block list. The analyst can click a single button and trigger a playbook that will execute all those steps in seconds and update all block lists. Sending a notification using tools like SMS, Slack, Teams, and email, or disabling a user account, isolating a host, or even creating a ticket in systems like Jira and ServiceNow are just a few additional possible actions that might be employed in a use case. Notice that when the ticket is created, Swimlane adds the section to the record for the ticket information. Swimlane's automation can not only work with data and tools, it can also dynamically adjust the UI design as needed during your use case. A ticket like this can be updated in Swimlane or in the ticketing tool and kept in sync. Once the response and remediation actions have been executed, the analyst can close out the record and quickly move on to their next task. If a post-incident report is needed, there is no longer the laborious task of copying and pasting data from all the different resources needed for this event. And you don't even have to deal with formatting. Instead, Swimlane can create the report using your template and the data that is already present in the case record. The report gets attached to the record and can be shared out or added to resources like the knowledge base. Sim triage in Swimlane is designed to handle any type of event and can dynamically adjust based on each type of event. Here is another sim event that came in from Elastic and is classified by Swimlane as a suspicious and unusual authentication time for a user. Notice some of the differences in this record as Swimlane automatically adjusts to this type of SIM event. We could see that it was tagged with a critical asset tag and the user is identified as one with additional access privileges. The automation for SIM triage can also be set to fully automate as needed. As Swimlane executed the initial triage for this sample incident, all the associated observables were checked with the configured threat intelligence tools and found to be benign. The playbook automation for benign events in this example is set to fully automate everything. That is why this case record has already been closed and never even showed up in the analyst queue. There is still a record for this type of event in case it needs to be reopened or reviewed at a later time. Using full automation for false positive benign events will save analysts an enormous amount of time and effort. 
How you use swim lane for sim triage may be a little or even a lot different from this example. The choice is yours. Configure swim lane to match your current processes and use the automation to improve the lives of your analysts. Then your analysts can be more effective and proactive at protecting the organization and handling your sim triage.